We talk about the great replacement theory now. Um, some of the things that you post, the great replacement theory, you claim that Democrats, President Biden's immigration plan to open up the border. You said that they're, the president is getting and Democrats are doing it to get more votes. Um, but undocumented immigrants cannot vote in federal elections. So how is that possible? Right. Um, well, you're conflating two things. One is great replacement theory. Uh, the other is, which I, I don't subscribe to that. I'm simply saying that there is an incentive here. Uh, if uh, legal immigrants, which I think have a, a very strong bias to at least everything I've read, it's a very strong bias to vote Democrat. Um, the, the more the more that come into the country, the more they're likely to vote uh, in that direction. But it, it is, in my view, uh, an, the, a simple incentive to increase uh, voters to Democrat voters. Um, right. And yeah, so the so question is like how? So there's there's a few there's a, a few ways that this works. One is that uh, when the census is done. Uh, the census is based on all, all people in an area, whether they are citizens, citizens or not. So uh, if there are a concentration of uh, people who came here legally in, in, a, in a particular state or uh, in any particular state, that state will actually then get uh, an increased number of house seats. So the, the house seat apportionment is proportionate to the number of people, not the number of citizens. So the, 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 the illegals overwhelmingly go to Places like California, New York, um, and the if you just look at the, the math, if, if if you look at the apportionment with and without illegals, I believe California would lose. I believe I believe the blue state there would be a net loss of blue states of approximately twenty seats in the house. Uh, this also applies to the the electoral college. So you say like, well, this also applies to, to electing the president, because the, the the same the electoral votes are also done. By, by apportionment the same way that house seats are done. But the reason Elon, the electoral college is in place is to to balance that, is so that that doesn't happen. So what you're saying about it is the exact opposite of the reason why the, the electoral college is there. The electoral college at this point, it, at this point in, in our history, gives people who are in smaller states and red states much more of an influence over our elections than people who are in blue states and the majority of the people in this country. That's what the Electoral College does. It actually does the exact opposite of what you're saying. It protects people who are in smaller states and protects people who are in red states. Well, um, who, the red I, states I, because I, they I, tend to be I, smaller I, and, and less popular. I think that that's, that's, that statement is, is uh, what, what you said is, is true, but what I said is also true, uh, which is that uh, if, uh, if, as is the case, a disproportionate number of legal immigrants go to uh, blue states, they amplify the effect of a, of a blue state vote. And the math, as I understand it, you can research this obviously very easily on it. It's, it's like, it's, it's pretty straightforward to, to research this. But my understanding is that there would be, uh, that, that the, the Democrats would lose approximately 20 seats in the House uh, if illegals were not counted in the census. And that's also 20 less electoral votes for president. So legals absolutely do affect the, the uh, who controls uh, the House of the House and who controls uh, the presidency. It does not affect uh, the Senate. Okay. In blue states, you're talking about. I don't believe that your information on on uh, that is right. Um, so listen, let's talk more about the Great Replacement because the first time you did, you posted on X about uh, this Jewish conspiracy, you ended up apologizing. I didn't call it a, a conspiracy. I just said that there's a simple matter of incentives. You don't need a conspiracy when you have basic incentives. In my view, there's a basic incentive that's fundamental uh, that uh, for, for the Democrat, Democrat Party to foster and, and usher in a large number of illegals. And, they, and, and, and you don't need a conspiracy in that case because you have a very basic incentive. You could say I'm wrong about that incentive, but that's my view. I, I'm not buying to, I didn't, I, buying some great replacement theory. I'm simply saying there appears to be a very clear incentive for uh, uh, Democrats to have to maximize the number of illegals um, because it helps them win elections. I'm talking about the great replacement theory is also part of a Jewish conspiracy theory. And when you did the tweet or you responded to the tweet about that, you end up apologizing. And which I think is, you know, it's good that you end up apologizing. You went to Auschwitz with Ben Shapiro. Yeah. So you said you learned your lesson. What did you learn? I said I learned my lesson. You said you learned your lesson when it, when you apologized and you said you went to Auschwitz, you saw what, what. No, I was already aware, already aware of, of, of these things. And the nature of my comment that, that really inflamed people, um, what, I was, what I was trying to say, and I did very quickly clarify, this is what I'm saying, is that uh, um, a number of uh, 
prominent uh, Jewish philanthropists fund uh, groups that they should really take a closer look at funding because some of the, some of the groups they fund, um, I think, are anti-Semitic. Do you understand the connection between the two? There one, there's a connection between you said Democrats and Great Replacement Theory, but when it comes to the actual Great Replacement Theory, originally it was started about Jewish people, as you said, flooding in the country, and then now people are using it for Democrats, saying the same thing about Democrats. Flooding, in my view, is a simple matter of incentive. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't, I actually don't see an incentive for uh, Jewish people to want to have a legal, legal immigration. I don't, I don't think there is such an incentive. Yeah. The Great Replacement Theory is a, a neo-Nazi trope it's in the neo-Nazi manifesto. It's in the Turner Diaries. It's referenced by the Buffalo mass shooter uh, in his manifesto where 10 people, um, black people were murdered in Buffalo. His actual title of the Christchurch Shooters Manifesto. 51 people in the Muslim mosque were murdered. 23 people uh, murdered in El Paso by a shooter who used the same language that you use in that manifesto when you say Hispanic invasion. Is that not? I didn't say Hispanic invasion. And you tweeted, you quoted a tweet that said, that called it a Hispanic invasion. If I quote something, it doesn't mean I agree with anything ever in it. It's just something that I want. I think this is something worth people should uh, consider. Why would you quote something that you didn't believe? Because anything I quote is going to have a whole range of statements. It doesn't mean I agree with everything in it. Do you think if there, if if you moderated yourself more, if there was better content moderation on the platform that you wouldn't have to answer these questions from reporters about the great, great replacement theory as it relates to I don't have to answer these questions. Great replacement theory as it relates to Jewish people. Do you think that I don't have to answer questions from reporters? Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Uh, otherwise, I would not do an interview with this interview. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let us know what you think in the comments.